Congratulations. Congratulations. Stepping across the finish line awesome job, buddy. Awesome job. is extra sweet when it's an accomplishment that once seemed impossible. I would never think I'd ever play any activities again, but you know, the power of God and prayer and lovely doctors, it's saved my life. Bryant Bolig just finished a half marathon. Eight years ago, Bolig was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. My mom bought me basketball shoes when I got home and I threw them right in the garbage. I said I'm never going to play sports or everything, nothing again. He went from rushing yards on the football field one day to getting rushed to the hospital the next. They didn't think it was real serious and the next morning they said you need to go now for a heart transplant to the University of Minnesota. We just broke down. Thankfully, doctors were able to pinpoint the problem and get it fixed, but he was still really sick. Bolig says he lost hope he'd ever be able to play sports again, but he did after lots of hard work. He ran this marathon to inspire other kids who were in the same position he was at age 14. My motivation is to finish this half marathon and hopefully have that story on the board so when those kids are walking, they can leave hope because I lost the hope when I left. So I'm just so proud of him. He worked very hard uh, when the heart situation started um, to get back to playing sports and he kept working hard to keep his heart strong. So yeah, it's, it's a miracle. Bolig's strong support system was waiting for him at the finish line, including his doctor. This is so gratifying to see that with proper you know, uh, diagnosis and, and follow-up and care, we can actually still save people's lives and make them not just manage, but make them thrive. Grandma! I just standing over there. It was great. It was great. It was something beyond anything I ever saw I would see in my lifetime. Today uh, is Today's like a great day. Christmas Eve to me. It's, it's a great day. It's just super. In St. Cloud, Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News.